A candlelight vigil tonight in Brooklyn to honor the memory of a construction worker shot and killed while on the job. Ronnie Ortiz, who friends say always had a smile on his face, was killed on Wednesday. They gathered tonight on what would have been his birthday. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal spoke to Ortiz's family tonight, who's searching for answers. Lanterns lit the sky, a guiding light as they remember Ronnie Ortiz. He was just always ready to give a hug. He had an infectious smile. Where they gathered, cried, laughed. He was a gentleman on and off the field. The same softball field in McCarran Park where he once played. He never left anyone behind. That's why everyone's here. It's where their number 21 made others laugh. Big time Yankees fan. I mean, <laughs> that was probably the only argument he got into. Mets and Yankees. And tonight on what was supposed to be Ronnie's 31st birthday. We're focusing on celebrating him, his life, everything that he brought to all of our lives. His life, on the other hand, gone in an instant. The skilled electrician was gunned down in Williamsburg two days ago as he took a lunch break. This, this should never have happened to someone so young, someone so good. And for a man who was so loved by so many, tonight they're asking, why? Why did this happen? It doesn't make any sense. The kid went to work every day. The kid never got mad at anybody. And we just can't figure it out. While police do their work to find his killer, those close to Ronnie are focusing on his lasting legacy. I hope that everyone who's watching can see what an impact he had on this world and on this league and the family he built here. In Williamsburg, Naveen Dhaliwal, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.